Are we? Do you know what's what? funny? Why? <laughs> Not one person sent in a video <laughs> of them dancing. dancing. So we're gonna have to do that again this week. Oh, okay. But I think I we, we, we were done, wouldn't you? We were on point last week. You, yeah. Your technique. You were showing me your moves and um, bad foot this week. Had a bad back. Uh, bad back. Yeah, Maybe you're, that's you're what off the to see. Uh, you got to see a doctor tomorrow. I know. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Nice, isn't it? Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Sunday Morning Show. Good morning, Lester. Good morning, Dan. We've come a little closer to the camera this week because we had comments of poor audio last week, so we do apologise if you didn't hear us properly last week. Didn't miss much. No. <laughs> well, yeah, we were, didn't we wrap it on last week? Yeah. I was editing it thinking, oh, that'll be cool, you know, just a little bit about Jason out on the golf course and about how a putting green's made and things like that. And then, then there was just you and me rabbiting. I mean, the amount of edit, the cutout. Did you notice you, how much I cut out of that, that last week's show, of our chat? Do you remember um, we did... We just talk. When we did that video in my flat, we just talked, and it went for about six hours. <laughs> and I was like, what well, have the end of it, That, like, video, we that video never got no, released. What, we have, what were we talking about? No idea. <laughs> Well, moving on, this week we've obviously had a bit of an announcement on the Big Monday. announcement. Well, yeah, it was a big announcement. It was a yeah. little bit, I would say, slightly disappointing in some ways. This is by Boris, by the way, Boris Johnson. So for those of you all around the world, Boris Johnson, our Prime Minister, has announced that we are allowed to come back to golf in England on the 29th of March. The golf shop can't open until the 12th of April, which... Um, I kind of expected retail to kind of fall in line with that, but I did expect yeah. golf to come back maybe a, a week earlier, maybe. But yeah, I think it was in line with all outdoor sporting activities. They didn't, from what I gather, they didn't want to exclude any of those sports. They wanted yeah. to put it all together and clump it all together because, as we're well aware and people are aware, golf is probably one of the safest Absolutely. outdoor yeah. games you can play, isn't it? With the yeah. social distancing. Yeah. Which is a common theme of golf, anyway. Isn't and I, and it? I, we I thought that. I, do you know? I thought about that with yeah. When we, <laughs> well, um, I thought about that with tennis. But actually, you know, you're, you're touching the ball, aren't you? You're handling the, the tennis ball all the time. Yeah. So that's that's a little bit difficult. But golf, you, we've we've certainly set it up. I think golf has done an amazing job in setting it up. Yeah. With all the things that you're not allowed to do and um, within the game, I think it's worked worked quite well. And I think people. For the most part, I wouldn't say everybody, yeah. but I think for the most part, people respect the rules of what's happening. And I, I think, I mean, I think personally, it could have golf could have opened up before many of the other sports, but like we said, it's it's trying. The government were, would have been under a lot of pressure if they said, right, you can play golf, yeah. but you can't, you can't play football. Yeah. It would have been just, it would have been difficult for them. So it, I understand the decision, although it's yeah. like you said, it's a little bit disappointing, isn't it? But and I've and I've had a, th a thought about obviously when we're allowed back and. There'll be a two-week period where, um, from from when golf is allowed back to when our pro shop will open, so our kind of our work will start. And even though we'll, I'll have to be involved at the golf club in some way, shape, or form at Torquay just to help out with what what needs to happen. Um, face I do. Place. That's you. You're face the place. <laughs> I um, I I thought about like right two weeks. We can go out and do loads of course vlogs, get them done. Blah blah blah. But I'm not sure we're even going to be able to get out anywhere. Because no, I think it's going to be so busy that I think, you know, maybe golf clubs might let us go out on the back nine, get the back nine done, and then we stop and have some lunch or something like that. But, but that's not even yeah. going to be open. No. So the clubhouse isn't going to be open. So maybe we stop and then we go out on the front nine because I think there's going to be a lot of pressure on golf clubs with their members um, with not letting visitors out or this type of filming out mm. and things like that. So... <laughs> We'll see. Obviously, yeah. ideally, I want to try and get back and get the course logs out as soon as possible. And if we've got a two-week period to be able to get out and do some, then we will definitely do it. But I think we might be struggling yeah. a little bit. You last, might... last time, it, it was mainly um, we managed to get on a couple of the sort of more exclusive courses, didn't we? And um, went to Bobby Castle, didn't we? Because they don't yeah. have that many members. Yeah. Um, so that was a possibility last time, wasn't it? So, so maybe... we may look at seeking those out yeah. if we can. Um, so if you're a member of a golf club and you would like us to come along, give us a shout. <laughs> We've got two weeks to get some in. Uh, and I think people have been really keen to get that get that going in. I certainly yeah. have. I certainly have. So it's the main it's the main 
bulk of our channel, yeah, really, isn't it? It, it, it is. It's what we it's what specialising, I guess. Yeah, isn't it? I suppose it is. Yeah, it has become that way anyway. Um, so yeah, so we will try and get course vlogs out as soon as we possibly can, but I imagine that it will be certainly probably more towards the middle of really? April as to when that when that will probably happen. So I thought this week we could answer maybe just a few questions. Okay. Because cool. we obviously last week we um, we went out and, and had a chat with yeah. Brooksy out in the course, but I thought this week we could answer a few questions. Was no was no Thursday night live this no, week I, either. I did, I did have a few uh, messages on Instagram and other social media. Yeah, I saw a bit on Twitter and saying why why is there no show? But we yeah. we just uh, we just had a break, didn't we? Yeah, we just Don't wanted know. to break it up. Uh, to be honest with you, I know it sounds amazing, but I was ridiculously busy this week. Mm. It's hard to fit that like you could be busy when you're not actually at work, but no. I got busy. <laughs> so no, no Thursday Night Live this week just gone, but we do plan to have one next week. I'm trying to seek out some people to possibly come onto the show, but if not, it might just be us four again. I'm going to five of us having a bit of a chin wag and see what's going on in the golfing world. Got a question for us. Yep. And these have come from my Instagram, which was actually linked to, I did a little bit of a really, it was quite cool actually, I did um, ask some questions, there were some really good uh, questions. Um, I did a similar week. a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I, I yeah. actually, I, I, I was not going to tell you this, but I actually saw that you did it and I thought, Do you know copy. it's a good idea that. I should have um, copyrighted it. Yeah, you should have, because <laughs> I, I basically went out with that. Beef, pickled onion or hot monster munch, which one would you go for? Oh, it's got to be the pickled onion. Got to be the pickled onion. Like, there's no choice, is there? Yeah. As far as I'm concerned. Just don't talk to anyone. No brainer. It's a game changer. Yeah. I do like the monster munch. The flaming hot ones I want to king on. Really? Don't feel that great now. Have you seen KFC have brought crisps out? What? KFC flavored crisps. Brought them out. There's some. There's some KFC flavored crisps. They I don't are, think it's. They I don't know if it's are going to sell. Or, Seriously, they're going to sell. If they're yeah. KFC packet of crisps. Well, they'll be about as hot as the chips they normally produce, wouldn't they? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't been to KFC for ages. No, to be fair, I don't really eat fast food. Not with this body. So. You, are a, you are a bit of a mission at the moment, aren't you? Yeah. Um, are we going to do any collaborations? And I didn't answer this on... Um, no, it's a, it's a good question because we do intend to do them. It, it's, it's, again, um, we've... Such a stop start couple of years, yeah. With obviously what's been going on, which is way more important than our filming, we obviously understand that. But it's just the logistics of getting people together, and and you know, time is of such an essence, isn't it? Yeah. So, to do a collab like with someone up north, we'd have to probably meet halfway, which would be a three four hour drive, yeah. Um, almost like an overnight stay, so you'd almost need yeah. hotels and and to tie in with other things. So it's more waiting until everything really sort of opens back up. But yeah, yeah I mean, we intend to, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd love the, the, we, one, you know. the one, the one, there's one at the moment that I've got that I, I want to do and, get, you know, because we've been talking about it for a little yeah. while and that's um, James Wilkshire. Yeah, yeah. So we talked about doing something with James. Um, if you don't watch James's channel, he's got his own YouTube channel. He used to work a bit with Mark Crossfield originally. He's also local, isn't he? Yeah, he's local. So we might be able, to get, so, yeah. be able to get something done with him and maybe we'll kick start the year off with our vlogs or out of lockdown, maybe we'll do something with um, with James to get, yeah. us, get us going with maybe. So hopefully that will happen. Um, but I don't really have anything else on the um, on the collaboration front. And I think that they will um, they will they will happen as we go through the year. I know um, certainly with the sponsors that we've got, and I will do a video yeah. on that. But you know, through Footjoy yeah. and um, what we're doing with Bushnell, yeah. that will probably happen again. Possibly do something with Pete we, again. I mean, we are looking at we're looking at other sort of running golf days and stuff, aren't we? So we might be better yes. we might better put together well, a I day, think... almost like a YouTube, not like, yeah. not similar to what they did a YouTube golf day, but maybe we can try and arrange and it might be easier to get a number of, a load of creators together. together on one day rather than. Mm. 10 different days going around sort of playing with maybe yeah. getting it all in one go might be, a, might be a plan, I don't know. Possibly. You can organise that. <laughs> then I'm from Caden, am I? I'll, I'll just add that to the list of running your shop. We are, <laughs> we are though, and um, obviously I announced last week that we are doing the coaching trip, which we've had yeah. some really good uptake on that. So if you do want to go on to the uh, come on our coaching trip, which is going to be in Lamanga in November. I'll pop a little link down here and I'll put a link in the description as well, but I'll pop a little link, um, email address and things. And it'll good, probably it'll be, be in good, the description, actually. It'll be a good trip because it'll be some serious coaching and um, 
look at ways of improving your game and obviously you'll get to play golf with mm -hmm. um the four of us going but it'll also be it'd be a good it'd be it'd be um quite informal as well wouldn't it it'd be a good laugh and yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. good opportunity if you want but to... what i was going to come in on to was that we're going to have golf days yeah. so i've got already in the pipeline i've got three golf days lined up for where we can all meet up and have a game of golf but maybe it's an overnight or somewhere or whatever when when we get out of this in June. I think I'm looking at one in June. So I will announce that probably be next week uh, once yep. it all pieces together and I get Graham, cool. Graham Roos on the case of that and putting it together for us. So golf days, love them. I do, yeah. Love you yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you I do, like yeah. golf days. I like socialising, I yeah. like meeting people. So probably get I do. you out playing with them. Yeah, I do. You know, maybe I'll run around with a camera or something. <laughs> they know. want you to play, don't they? Yeah, I'll play. Yeah. I like to play. Uh, you've got a, you 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 do your you need to do have you got a birthday shout yeah, out? I need to get that sorted. I've got a massive apology. I've missed one and I do apologise. Yeah, about that one. I have got a massive apology. Um, Mike Bowen sent me a message um, a couple of weeks ago um, about his wife's birthday, which unfortunately you missed. I missed. I mentioned it the week I was supposed to say it, but I couldn't find the messages. Um, I missed it. Uh, so I want to firstly issue an apology to Mike for not mentioning his wife's birthday. Um, mm -hmm. He actually wrote a little message when I forgot, saying, we watched the show in anticipation, but you oh, forgot my no. birthday wish request. Bit disappointed. Oh. The wife has threatened that we will go to Torquay and she's coming to see you for a kiss and hugging compensation. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's no problem. So it was Lorraine... Lorraine's birthday, um, I'm just going back through the previous messages. You get too many messages. I don't. <laughs> it was her birthday on Sunday the 21st of February. So hopefully she had a nice birthday. Happy birthday. Happy belated birthday. If not, this is probably May that birthday. So much more special. Well, you probably have. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Gauzy73. Yeah. I guess that's when he was born, the 73, possibly. Um, hopefully, for, he wants a Sunday show question. Do you think Rory McIlroy would win more majors with a more experienced caddy I read this one, rather yeah. than his mate Harry Diamond? It's tricky, isn't it? Uh, I, I don't. It's hard to say. I mean, what has he won since Harry's been on the bag? He's won tour events. He hasn't won majors, has he, for a couple of years? I don't. I don't. I can't years. remember when. Is it JP? I think JP was his caddy before, mm. wasn't it? I can't remember what happened when he came off and then his mate's gone on. Um, I, he's, know, had, he's had his friends caddy for him in the past, not just Harry. Yeah, he's had other ones. I he's think, had other I people know. caddy. I mean, it's he's a tricky one, isn't it? Because I guess for for me personally, it would depend on the player and what his idea was the role of the caddy. If it's someone just to carry your bag. Mm. Um, and someone to chat to, maybe maybe he feels more relaxed with his mate rather than a professional well, caddy. Or if you're, you're relying on the caddy for your distances, your yardage, even maybe a swing coach on your bag. Yeah. I mean, so it depends really what the situation of the player is and how he how he wants yeah. how he wants the caddy's role to to be really, doesn't it? Well, you you've got to take into consideration um, the not just the round of golf, but the travel and everything else that goes on with it and. A lot of these mm. caddies don't necessarily travel with their their player. No. Um, but I know, I'm pretty sure that Harry travels with Rory when they, you know, on yeah. the private jet and everything like that that they fly around with. But um, it's a hard one unless you're mm. behind the ropes, mic'd up with them, and getting an understanding of what they both bring to the table with I mean, it. You I might, don't know. We might be underplaying how important Harry yeah. is. He might actually be as trained and as skilled as some of the caddies, Absolutely, mightn't he? Yeah. At reading greens and yeah. You know, yeah, I, I wouldn't. It would it'd be almost like that, impossible so, yeah. to, to kind of. Uh, but w whilst we're on that discussion, then, because I got one that came in and it said um, about Speed. So this was from Ethan26, who said, Are you a fan of Jordan Speed or Speed? And made up his game is starting to click again. So obviously, mm. Ethan is very happy that Jordan is, a, is, is coming back and playing some good golf, which yeah. I, I would say. I am a fan of Jordan Spieth. I would say you, we all, you know, there's not much to not like about Jordan Spieth. He's a nice, no, he comes, nice lad. He comes across really yeah, well. I quite like the little. Um, there was like a group of them all came out together, and they're all mates, yeah. and they sort of pre-COVID were going like when they, they had party together, yeah party yeah. together. They hang Holiday around together, together off the golf yeah. course, like they would yeah. have a, to have some fun. traditionally have the weeks off together, yeah. and then go and sort of socialise. You yeah. know, it's, 
lad in their twenties, wasn't yeah, it? Like, right. You know, I think I quite like that and yeah. show sort of a human side as well. So yeah. I do. I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of Spieth. I mean, he's nearly he's nearly won twice, isn't he? Yeah. He's nearly won twice um, in the states. Um, Pebble Beach was one of them that he got pretty close on. Uh, I, I think it's great that he's coming coming back and playing some great golf. Um, he was uh, a, he was a streaky player, wasn't he? I, li- I well, like streaky players. He's twitchy. Do you not mm. notice that he's quite? His pu- his he's always been. Well, has gone the last well, few years. Well, gone, and I think that was. I, I got a feeling that some of it was media driven, like oh. as in you know they like to they like to criticise when these guys kind of come off form a little bit, and I think that it got in his head when it came to maybe his putting and things like that. So I I, I yeah I would say that the media have a bit to blame on that possibly, um, but. He he's a, he's a twitchy player, like you can see the way he jumps around the golf course. You know, he's a bouncer yeah. and he bounces around the golf course a little bit. And he's, I think his emotions get the better of him in some occasions. He can be very high, very high and very low in certain situations. So, I think that's what makes him possibly a streaky player. Yeah. Um, f- because he's up and down so much, and um, I can see him getting quite nervous. In I quite the like the fact that he can hit like worldy shots, and then he can miss the planet, kind of with his drive and stuff. Yeah. Makes it more, makes it quite exciting. Yeah. Um, and when, but when he was on, his, when he was on, he was on. Yeah. He? I mean, he was a, you know, well, serial beaten. winner, and yeah. and not just winning by one shot. He yeah. could he could tear fields apart. Yeah. So he? it would not surprise me if he just came back and dominated for a little while, because yeah. he could do that. But you get you get players like that, don't you? You get, you know, a perfect example of sort of ten, fifteen, twenty years ago, Michael Campbell, mm. like shot out of nowhere, win, wins like wins loads of tournaments. Yeah. Like has sort of a year, eighteen months of brilliant golf, then disappears yeah. off the planet for five years, yeah, comes yeah, back, yeah. qualifies for the US Open via yeah, the, the, via the English yeah. qualifying, and then goes yeah. and wins it. Yeah. Like it's like, and yeah, then then class, dis- then sort of disappears class. again. Mm. Maybe has another year. It's like yeah. So so it, yeah, looking forward to that. And then and then that brings us on whilst we're on tour chat. Talk a bit that, of tour chat. That's well, Tiger Woods as well. Tiger Woods, yeah. Tiger Woods' situation right now and. Um, you know, obviously, that's very sad that that's happened to him, and um, he's been some been through some ups and downs, hasn't he? Yeah. Like, if you think um, about things that he's been up to with, you know, it's all started. It'd be a few definitely years be now. a good book when he when he produ- when he finishes competitive golf um, and puts. I mean, if he tells tells everything that actually happened to oh, him, yeah. I mean, because we, you know, uh, it's life. Yeah, I mean, really he, he's the re- one of the reasons. What well, is the reason I started golf? He made for me. He made golf cool. Um, you know, with his, like wearing night clothing, yeah. sort of um, playing a different game to what everyone else is playing, um, and just dominating golf. I mean, he mm. was winning and in his prime. He was winning one every two events. He had a, like that's ridiculous, isn't it? Teeing it up every it other amazing. week and winning. It I mean, it's absolutely amazing. He dominated so. But much. yeah, I mean, it, the, unfortunately, the misdemeanors off the golf course and things that have, he's done and um, <laughs> might overshadow. His playing career, but um... uh, what what I found what I found absolutely amazing and, f- and like I just couldn't believe what I was listening to was how the media jumped on it and started started instantly. I mean, the guy's still yeah. just then he just got in a hospital and they started talking about uh, you know that the the Ben Hogan situation when Ben Hogan had his accident with a head-on collision with a bus um, back in back in the day and obviously uh, broke legs and things like that and, and he came back and then became a major winner again and they're starting to already talking about that I was yeah. like oh my like, you don't even know what's happened to the guy no I mean we don't know it the severity I mean we know obviously we, we, we've, we've had so far had a bit of press coverage about you know he's had rods in his legs and pins and whatnot. Yeah. but like we said we don't know the extent of his injuries and he no. you know we should be thankful that he's still alive mm. you know crashing crashing like that and the, the, wreck of, the wreckage of the car I mean mm. he's lucky to be alive isn't he so um, let, let him recover. Let him, you know, get just see try happens, and get his yeah. health back before we yeah. even talk about him playing golf again. Absolutely. You know, there's, to me, there's more important things than playing golf and winning major championships. And, and, he, yeah, and he's done that anyway. Yeah, so, absolutely. so I've got a question for you from what looks like Tom Toma Five. I don't know what that one is. Tom <laughs> Tomo Five N N Three A L on Instagram. Do you still have time to coach the average Joe? Yeah. The average Joe. Average Joe. <laughs> That might be dodgeball. Is it? <laughs> average great great, great If you film. haven't watched dodgeball, you need to watch yeah. it. Uh, do I? Yeah, yeah. I, I do. I do have time to a degree, 
I, I've set it up here at Torquay where James, who you would have seen on the channel, he does, he's the main coach now here and I kind of set that up knowing the avenue that I was kind of going with this world. So at the moment I am pretty busy coaching, uh, pretty busy editing, I'm pretty busy doing all the filming and all of that side of things and I'm, I'm trying to grow this business, you know, the, the YouTubing business. So it takes time to grow, it, it means you've got to give up on certain other things. So I do coach the odd person obviously still at the golf club, so members of the golf club, I still coach them and I think it's important to do that. Um, but I've focused more on like journey kind of coaching rather than coming people coming down and having a two hour session with me. I'd rather focus on them as a, as a priority for six months or a year or whatever like that is. So I do do it and I will do more of it moving forward. That's how um, I, if I was teaching now, that's the avenue, yeah. the way I would go, of, yeah. like select sort of a limited amount, giving them hundred yeah. percent you can give them you know see them see them regularly and it's and it's um, and it's something that i would advise people to do yeah you know get get a coach and say right we're going to do we're going to focus on if, even if it's just a certain area of the game you're going to focus on pitching or whatever it's going to be yeah. or the short game as a whole and just say right i'm going to spend the next six months with you coming down to see you once a month for whatever mm -hmm. it is for two three hour session and just just work on it work on it work on it and and then help them yeah, let them help you deliver, you know, better results. Certainly, if I was looking, if I was, if I was looking to improve and progress my game, and I had the finances to allow that, I would certainly, if I was advising anybody, I would go and find the pro that you that you enjoy, you've had lessons with previously, yeah. and then don't just go for one less term. Right, I want a package of ten lessons, and I want them spread out over the next six months. Yeah. Um, and they'll be, they'll be more than happy to tailor a program for you, yeah. give you a plan. It will be more personal to you as well. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll also feel like you're getting, the, the coach will feel like he's getting more out of you, but you'll also feel like you're getting more out of the coach rather Correct. than yeah. I'll have a lesson in January for an hour, probably go and see him again next year if I yeah. start doing something badly. It doesn't really, for me, that's no, there's no continue, continuity. Yeah. You want, for me, you'd want it regularly. Even if you're playing really well, you, you can then find out why you're playing well yeah. and then get the same feet, you know. Mm. It's just good to have that, I think I, you should I, have that relationship with your agree. coach. I think it's the way forward and it's certainly, if I was learning how to play golf again in that way, or if I wanted to go and have some coaching for my own game, I would pick someone and go, right, me and you are gonna work together for six months, yeah. you know, even if it's six sessions over a six month period, and we're gonna do two hour sessions and then bang, bang, bang. It's the best way I think to learn. I just, I just think it's hard as well to judge, like people will have one lesson and go, oh, I didn't really do anything. Yeah. But they haven't put the time and effort in, they've had one lesson. Mm. It's like literally going and saying, well, I'm gonna learn French, I'm gonna have one lesson of two hours and I'm gonna try and yeah, do my GCC French. Yeah. You wouldn't do that, would you? You'd, you'd have regular, yeah. shorter lessons or longer lessons, however you wanna tailor it, so it, to suit the individual to get the best results. Correct. And that's the yeah. same as anything in life, yeah. I think. Agree. Well, I think that's a good way to end our show. Okay. Learning how to play golf. If you got every any day, more questions. Every day is a school day. Every day is a school day for us. <laughs> um, any more questions? No, nope, done. No? Right, I think no. that's it, everybody. Thank you very much oh. for taking the time to watch our Sunday stop. morning show. Stop, We're stop. stopping now. We haven't had any, and no one's set any dancing in. What's I, going on? You're in lockdown. Come or, on. Or you've had restrictions. There. You send should have, it in. You should have time. To the email. We need to see people dancing to the Sunday morning show Absolutely tune. Absolutely right. It's not do. good enough, is it? You tell we, them. We take time I'm out. take a step back. You tell okay. them. We take time out to come in here on our days off when we're furloughed. Sunday morning. Sunday morning early. We have to get up. So we can't even go out Saturday nights yeah. anymore to film this. We need 30 seconds of your time to film yourself dancing. There you go. Rant over. On that note, we'll <laughs> see you all again next Sunday. See you later. <laughs> See you later.